The interim Lafayette City Marshal says his office is struggling financially. Tonight, the City Parish Council will introduce an ordinance to help out the department. Our Chris Welty joining us live at LCC. And Chris, how tight are the Marshal's funds? Jim Marcel, interim Lafayette City Marshal Michael Hill tells me his office has been operating at a deficit since the first of the year. This afternoon, he told me something it's dire. Something changes soon. It, it looked like as much as a hundred and seventy five to two hundred thousand dollar deficit was built into my budget. Uh, and that has to do with my predecessor and, and the fight with the council. Uh, so I'm not really complaining about it. Interim City Marshal Michael Hill says his office is short of funds, primarily because of the reduction of court costs. In addition, the Marshal's office is repaying LCG five to eight thousand dollars a month for transportation costs like repairs and fuel. I have cut costs everywhere, uh, right down to and including not buying additional bullets. Hill says the additional money will help with crucial needs for his office. We've, we've, been, we've had to cut the time uh, of, uh, uh, of my people who are doing the ALC show for, for fugitives. Uh, I have cut back on training costs, uh, training expense. I've cut back on you know, critical things, I literally. Uh, and have no more bullets uh, for the rifles in the office. That can't happen. We have to do that. Yeah, this is going to definitely give them the level of comfort uh, to make the year, to make sure that as an agency they stay sound as it relates to the auditor, the legislative auditor's office. Um, and then it's going to give us a very, very, which is really important, it's going to give us a very, very clear snapshot of what next year's budget is going to look like. Councilman Kenneth Boudreau says he's excited to see the progress Hill has made in the marshal's office. Boudreau maintains the department has great officers. Hopefully, uh, by doing these types of measures and doing it in this way, it's going to win back the confidence of the people. Once again, this is only an introductory ordinance. If it does pass tonight, it'll go up for final adoption in two weeks. Live in Lafayette, Chris Welty, KATC TV3. Well, turning now to a practice.